The Anglican Communion Office is based in London, but serves and supports the Communion in 165 countries around the world. The office has a small team, but its remit is huge. Its directors specialise in a range of subjects, including mission, ecumenical dialogues and women in church and society. It's also home to the Anglican Alliance, which was set up after the Lambeth Conference of 2008 to connect churches and agencies around the Communion. I'm Andy Bowerman, uh, this is my colleague Rachel Carnegie, and uh, we're the Joint Executive Directors of the Anglican Alliance. In the Alliance we have four of us here in the Communion Office and then we have regional facilitators around the Communion who connect people in their region. We've got three areas of work. One is development, sharing skills, the best kind of work so we can be as effective as possible in our churches. The second is around relief, how can we be together to pray and support the churches responding to humanitarian crisis. And thirdly, advocacy, how do we link our leaders with the experience on the grassroots to speak out on justice. So one of the key areas for us is around climate justice, particularly how that impacts food security. Whether it's uh, you've got too much water as in the Pacific Islands or not enough water as in Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, alongside that we also have a process that we are really excited about. Um, it's called Church Community Mobilisation or Asset Based Community Development. And a third area is the crisis we have now about refugees and migrants, more people than ever on the move across the world. So how do we help equip churches to meet that need? And also in terms of human trafficking, how can churches help to raise awareness of communities to prevent and also to respond to rescue people from this desperate crime?